see another video blog. Well, I got some toilet paper today. First time in since February. <laughs> wow. Two months. I can actually flush it. Yeah, we've been using napkins and throw them in the garbage because we have a septic tank can't flush those down. So, yeah, this thing affects you in so many ways. It's so many ways. It's crazy. Crazy. It's good to hear that it's starting to go down, but people want to rush back into regular life, and that's the reason the numbers are going down is because we're doing what we're doing. Rush back in. I don't think that's a good idea. And you got crazy people saying it, so it's not real. I tell that to the people who died in their families that it's not real. It takes all kinds to make the world go around. I know I'm a little bit nuts, but <laughs> I don't believe the world is flat. And I believe this is real. Um, you know, like 9-11. It, it's, it's weird the way those buildings came down. I mean, three out of the how many fell, I don't know can't remember, don't want to, but they, they look like implosions, demolition implosions, and I don't know, you stack something up that high, it wants to tip over, stack, stack a deck of cards and you'll stack cards over, you know, stack of cards, if you've got enough of them, it keeps going, eventually it's going to want to tip over. And it's not going to come straight down. Well, of course, a deck of cards are going to come straight down. Because there's just no way for it to. But you'll see that it wants to tip. And if that thing's one side's hit, it would weaken on that side. If, the way they say it, and it would, in my mind, it would tip that way. But uh, no, they all came, you know, one. Possibly two, but, off, but three, no, I think it was building seven or something like that. I don't know. And they said it leaned to the last second. You can kind of see it in one of the videos where it did kind of... No, well, I mean, that's just bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if it's... I, I don't see how you could... I mean, there's, there's hundreds, maybe thousands of charges to demolish a building like that. It's not just one or two here and there, you know, um, and to wire a building like that that's being currently being occupied and used on a daily basis how could they do it without anybody knowing see that's the thing that doesn't add up for me it looks like it but it, that's the only thing i mean unless i mean what i don't know about demolition is a lot but what i do know is that it's lots of charges it's not just a few um now i don't know what it would take to take that down, if, if it's possible that they could do that without being noticed. I doubt it, but like I said, I don't know. You could ask an expert how many, you know, he'd have to have blueprints and, you know, have engineers and whoever, whatever it takes to go over the, the building, you know. I, I doubt that you could take it down with just a few simple hidden charges. I just, I just don't think it'd be that easy. Um, those guys tried to do it several years ago, before that, um, in the basement. You know, blow up the basement, maybe it'll, t you know, tip over. <laughs> well, I didn't. Um, yeah, it's a weird one. And then you hear rumors like. You know, I, you know, I do believe that they used 9-11 to further the government's power over the people. Um, maybe they had good intentions, maybe they didn't. I don't know. I don't know that they used, they created 9-11 to, uh, 
to um, make these changes. I don't. I don't know that I believe that much. I believe that they did take advantage of 9/11 to, you know, hey, <laughs> and uh, there's been the history of that sort of thing. You know, uh, the national crisis, um, and we've got to, you know, wake up and smell the coffee and make changes. And so we do. And a lot of times these changes are not, in the long run, for the benefit of the people, or for the benefit of the government. Um, it generally gives them more power, and the government doesn't need more power. What the government needs is less power. What the government needs is people who actually care about their jobs. The, the senators and the congressmen and all those, they're in it for themselves, most of them. Uh, and you can see it just by the way they play, the places run. Uh, they fight, the demo Democrats and Republicans fight with one another all day long, you know, and, and accuse each other of notorious things. Now, if that's really what's going on, then we need to get rid of those people. You know, um, your, their job is not to bicker and fight across the aisle. Their job is to work together to come to, you know, things that help the general population. I mean, if there's a problem, they need to come together to fix the problem, not to have one guy present a, a solution and then them say, well, I don't, want, I don't want anything part of it. No, let's look over it, see where it's good, see where it's bad, make changes, make adjustments to where we're both satisfied with it. But it's, it's not that way. And if it can't be that way, then we can't have two um, parties. Because the parties, all, they spend more time fighting than they do solving. And that's not right. Um, how do I get the 9-11 to politics? I don't know. Oh, gee, I can't imagine. Might be a tie in there. Might be. But, uh, yeah, I can ramble. But, uh... You know, I haven't done this for a few days, and I thought I'd, I'd do it. I had to tell everybody, I'm still, as far as I know, virus-free. I don't have any symptoms. Haven't been tested, but why waste a test on me? I don't feel sick. So, I hope hey, those that are recover quickly. Those that aren't, don't get it. There's, there's only one person I hope... Uh, well, I don't hope he gets it. It would be justified if he did. Well, two, that dingbat vice president walking around the Mayo Clinic with no mask. The only person in the whole building, probably. You know, and that is their policy. You must wear a mask. You know, oh, I don't have to wear a mask because I don't have it. I'm tested all the time, so I don't have it. That's not the reason. That's just area. That's just Trump. What? I, it surprises me for him, but, I, you know, I look at who he's following, look at who he backs up. I've never seen a more arrogant, oh, you don't have to wear a mask, I probably won't wear a mask. I mean, you should be the first one to put one on, all of you guys. You should be setting an example, not saying, you know, well, wear one if you want, well, we don't care, whatever. <laughs> Oh, God, what a nice president we have. I could go on for days about that guy. You want to hear a little bit about him? Uh, I heard a rumor a few months ago that his tax returns were about ready to be released. And now, I don't know, the stupid virus thing came along and nobody's talking about it anymore. I, I want to see. And, um, also, I heard a rumor that he, I don't know if it's true, I'd like it if it were. Um, I don't know if it's even possible, but I don't know. States have some rights that I guess surprise me sometimes. But they, uh, they want, uh, they're making it mandatory for anybody who wants to run for president in the state of California, president of the United States in the state of California. If you want to put your name on the ballot in the state of California for president of the United States, you must reveal, disclose, whatever you want to call it, your tax returns. And so, um, Trump is going to lose the whole state if he don't <laughs> cough up his tax returns. 
No, they probably not going to get many votes in California. They're pretty Democrat. Um, they're a little, they're a little smarter. Than, oh yeah, I got runny nose. A little smarter than uh, the people down in the east. I don't know. I, I just can't believe how many people support him. Cause it's, I don't know. I watch several sources and none of them except for one and not then not all the time have anything good to say about it. I mean it's 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 really sad that um, this is what passes for our, our president man I mean it's been going I mean, Obama got a lot of shit, and he did a lot of things that maybe weren't so great. But um, as far as good presidents go, I, I give him a good nod. Um, he took over. Bush left him a messy, messy, messy house. Um, and he did a very good job, I think, of fixing it. Um, I think he got reamed on the uh, bank thing. Um, I believe wholeheartedly that those bankers came into their, into that Oval Office or wherever they had their meeting and said, look, Mr. President, this country's economic system is about ready to fail. Do you want to be the president who uh, allowed that to happen, first black president? <laughs> have also allowed the economic status of our, I mean, our economic system to fail. You don't want to be that guy, do you? Do you? You want to be the first black president and have it, you know, with that, you know, yeah, you're the first black one, but look what you did. You know, or do you want to just uh, look the other way, let us get our bonuses and go on about our merry way? Which would you, you know, and man, that's a hard choice for him because he's not only got to look out for himself and his reputation, the future reputation. If, he, if, if he's known as the one who did it, which he's, he sh should never have been, but it'd be under his watch. Um, and, and people were saying it already. Uh, you know, he, he got there, it was a mess, you know, uh, and people were trying to blame it on him, and he, he had nothing to do with it. That was Bushonomics. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure that's what happened, or something along those lines. You know, you gotta, you gotta do what we say, or you're gonna be holding the bag for a whole lot of shit you didn't do. <sighs> yeah, it's a, it's a fucked up world sometimes. People in power, man, we need to take them out of power and get somebody in the group cares about people, not themselves. And that's the key. It, it may never happen, it probably won't. But that's all I've got for it right now. We'll try some more later.